BMAT past papers are your best friend for every part of the BMAT exam. Past papers are freely available from 2003 to the present, providing loads of practice opportunities. These should be your main resource throughout your preparation because, whilst the specific questions vary from year to year, the question styles, tricks and pitfalls repeat again and again. So, you've been working away at the past papers and it's become clear that you're not quite as strong at problem solving questions compared to critical thinking. Well, don't worry. Whatever your areas of strength and weakness are, we've created the BMAP Past Papers Subject Guide, which lets you focus your preparation on areas where you need that extra practice. You've completed the BMAP Past Papers, and you've even been through the BMAP Subject Guide, but you're still hungry for more critical thinking practice. Interestingly, OCR, whose sister company Cambridge Assessment write the BMAT, for many years offered a critical thinking A-level. Now, whilst this no longer exists, we've stockpiled many of the critical thinking past papers for you to practice. If you've noticed a similarity between the critical thinking unit two past papers and the BMAT section one questions, then you're absolutely right. The same questions that are used in that critical thinking unit are often used in subsequent BMAT section one papers. Unfortunately, this one's too good to share at this point, but don't worry. Attend a Blackstone Tutors intensive BMAT course, a bespoke BMAT course, or an in-school BMAT course, and you will learn our trademark six-step approach to critical thinking questions, as well as receiving our 500-page BMAT resource guide. Hungry for more problem-solving practice? Make the most of our TSA Section 1 past papers to excel in these often challenging questions. Knowing the past paper answers isn't enough. In fact, it isn't even a start. BMAT past paper questions are almost never repeated in subsequent years. However, the question styles and techniques used to answer them are. So ensure that you use BMAT past paper work solutions to understand the logic behind each of the answers and the most efficient techniques for each question style. So when the question type from 2003 is repeated this year, you won't remember the answer from 2003. Instead, you recall the technique you used to get that answer. Section one is the second most time pressured section of the entire BMAT exam. Make sure you practice under timed conditions so that you're not surprised by the limited time in the real exam and you're able to complete this section. To assist you with efficient BMAT preparation, we have compiled a list of the essential BMAT Section 1 preparation resources in one place.